Cameron was uh, Jack's wife, second wife. Uh, Cameron uh, had a, Marjorie Cameron is her name, she went by Cameron. She was an artist. Uh, she just recently had a show in the last uh, five or six years, Mocha put on a, a retrospective of her art. And she, um, she was a very, very interesting character in and of herself. Uh, she was, she had flaming red hair, she was absolutely gorgeous. And she uh, looked like a movie star and she actually starred later in some small budget films. And uh, she was hanging out at Jack Parsons' house right after uh, he did the Babylon working with L. Ron Hubbard. And this was a magical uh, rite, a magical a ceremony to invoke Babylon, who is a sexual po sex positive goddess who was going to help usher in the new age. And so they had just done this magical ritual to usher in the new age, and they went home, and there was sitting Cameron, and they, Jack Parsons decided, that's Babylon. That's the woman we were invoking. This is her. She's here. She just magically appeared at my house. And uh, they got married. At the time, Cameron wasn't particularly interested in magic and OTO, but she became very interested in it. And um, they lived together, uh, not too calmly from what I understand, but they lived together until Jack's demise. She, uh, both are true. I mean, she stayed interested in spirituality, but her drug addiction and her alcohol addiction were so bad that it's really hard to say what was influencing her art. So you'll see art that's very mystical and magical, but it also is drug-induced. So where, where the line is there, I don't know. It's an overlap for sure. Like for many art, artists, like Coleridge, uh, one of the greatest art, uh, writers of the, um, in English history, was well known to be an, an addict, and he wrote some of the most beautiful lyrical poetry ever written. So it's hard to tell where the line is there. Which now, that, see, in the 20s, when he was writing about this woman, uh, it was very ahead of its time and not of the culture at that time at all. So he was seeing that women would be sexually free, they would be independent, they would be able to do their own magical rituals, and this was not the culture at the time. So as a young feminist, that really made sense to me, that there would be this woman who was sex positive and t making her way in the world. And this was considered... Uh, the Scarlet Woman, or also called Babylon. So I had had that image. I had actually done some art projects on it uh, when I was younger. And then later on, when I found out that this was actually a woman, and that actually uh, Cameron was embodying her, it was just fascinating to me.